<clears throat> it appears the Masamine has found a new master. What? Lynx? Do not panic. Look around you. Birds. The birds that fled are coming back. I no longer sense the slightest bit of malice from the Masamine. There is no more fear of succumbing to its enmity. Ah. You awake, Massa? This is Mune talking. Mas we'll go with Massa and Mune, or Massa and Mune. Yeah, but looking back, I think we've done something terrible. <laughs> no one will know if we don't tell. Doreen? Hey, what were you two up to? Yikes, it's Doreen. N nothing. We don't remember a thing. Hmm, I see. Well, just to make sure you're not up to any mischief, I'm coming along. All right. How many centuries has it been since the three of us got together? Okay, then, let's go. The sea swallow has transformed into the Master Mune. Where am I? Riddell, is that you, Riddell? What happened to me? Dario, thank goodness. Your memory has returned. M memory? Oh, yes. I had taken a hold of the Masamine when... Forgive me, Karsh, for what I have put you through. Ah, forget about it. Although your memory has returned, let us not forget the harsh reality which lies in wait. Come. Way to bring us all down, Radius. So, you will be leaving. I have been prepared for this day. Farewell. I wish you all the best. Oh, she probably was in love with him after taking care of him for so long. Everyone is hurt and separated inexperienced and incomplete. However, by living as such, we may change for the better into something bigger, something more gentle. My goodness, what has happened during my absence? Where have the general and the others gone? Riddell, you said that you all came from another world. Then where are Karsh, you, and the others in this world? Unfortunately, no one from Viper Manor who went to the Dead Sea will return. Why did the General and the others go to such a dangerous place? In search of the frozen flame. They were swallowed up by a terminated timeline and have perished along with the Dead Sea. <sighs> How ironic it is that I, it is I who have survived. But Dario, you still have me. Riddell. We may be from different worlds, but you are you and I am I. Yo, that's right. I'm alive and kicking too. You guys haven't seemed to notice. There ain't no one who can take my life. <laughs> Zoe and Marcy are here too. We can also call the old dragon stable keeper. Thank you, everyone. I guess you are right. I am alive, and I will do whatever I must do. I do not know how many years it will take, but I will rebuild Viper Manor. It is my duty. My, my, my. Perhaps it's about time I came out of retirement. Time for one last hurrah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. Even though we may be from different worlds, the four divas are back in business. But... Maybe minus one. I don't think you're fit for battle yet. He leaned over. Forgive me. Four years of isolation have taken their toll. And you never bothered taking off your armor that whole time. Are you all right? Riddell, I want you to take this. And we have received Riddell's level seven tech snake fangs. Please rest up and just concentrate on rebuilding Viper Manor. Thank you. I shall do so. Of course, I will help you too. Plus, I have an idea. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I don't like the sound of this decorating idea. Can I go back and check? Is there anything to check at this point? Or is it a little too early for that? No, there is something to check. They work quick. How's this? Hmm. Well, I did say I would open the doors to all the children who lost their parents during this past struggle. However, this remodeling job is a little too... We have to bear in mind that children will be living here. Why not officially make this place into an orphanage? There's an idea. Also, Dario, why, why won't you join the party? Like, seriously, everybody else in the world is. Freaking Dario. Yeah, I guess this'll do. Move it, move it! They're, they're rebuilding here. All right! I wish it'll be done soon. Wait, aren't you uh, Lena's sister? Isn't that, what was her name, Una? Something like that. It looks like her. She's dragging around the same bag, at least. Is this the same move it, move it guy? It is. He likes to move it, move it. This is my house. Huge, isn't it? It is indeed. Also, there's like a blatant, like, road construction thing over there. Yeah, I guess this'll do. Is that the same guy? Hold that for me, will ya? Like, over here? They're not letting me hold it. Hold it, hold it here. Hold it here. Sorry, buddy, you're on your own. Is that the, no, oh, that's, yeah. It says it's a huge house. No entry, the interior is still under construction. They worked very quickly on this, though. I had them finish the sandbox first. Oh, and there's a slide, too. Some swings would be nice, too. Selfish. Like, they did this in about 30 seconds. Give them some time. Darn, we need more manpower. We can play a serious game of hide and seek with a yard this big. You need more trees and things. Sure, it's a big yard, but it's empty. Is the dragon stable ready yet? Not, not yet. Hey, how you doing, Norris? So this explains the noise that was coming from above. Indeed it does. And we have officially finished another, I'm gonna say major side quest because this was not required. And this is something that we did earlier than we were probably supposed to. But I don't feel this is necessarily as game breaking as uh, going to marble and getting that eagle eye early because the eagle eye is kind of broken, but it's time to show off what we got as a result of that quite difficult fight. Possibly the most difficult fight that we've done to date, even though I made it look simple. Uh, we have acquired the Master Mune. Remember, we're on the Stone Swallow. This is one of the best things in the game. It's, it's pretty much second tier. Let's put it there, second tier. Uh, there's the rainbow stuff, then there's the stone stuff, and then there's a few others. Uh, the Master Mune is one of those few others, but we're talking second tier here. It increases his attack by three and his hit percentage by one. So overall, it is definitely an upgrade, but it's not I, what I would say is a significant upgrade. This is the second advent of the Holy Sword Masamune, and there was a reason that we were holding on to the Sea Swallow the whole time. It turned into the Master Mune, uh, which is something that I actually really like when they make you hold on to your initial equipment, saying like sentimental value or something like that, and then it turns into the ultimate weapon. I do like when that happens. Uh, and some people do say this is the ultimate weapon in the game. Uh, some people say that the rainbow one is, is better, but uh, when it starts coming to criticals, uh, the Master Mune has, has better criticals, and that's why people say that. All right, so that's the equipment. Let's go ahead and show off Riddell's level seven tech. Hopefully it's something good. And no, we still can't use the Hydra Shadow. Snake Fangs, here we go. White Cobra's power will recharge some elements. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of using Riddell here. Uh, we can put it down, um, but there you go. It recovers the use of some of the elements. That can be very useful uh, in certain situations, but in most situations, that's not something that necessarily strikes me as 
you know, something that I necessarily need to do. Uh, let's try to show it off in Fossil Valley, though. I might as well show off the Master Mune as well. And they spawned me right on top of a Bubba Dingo. So there's that. Let's go ahead and have Lynx finish off one of the Bubba Dingoes here. As you can see, it is powerful, but I wouldn't necessarily say, like, game-breaking powerful. Not by this point. All right, Riddell, you are up. Just go ahead and bop a few things on the head or something. Seriously, Riddell? All I wanted to do was to get you up to level 7 so that you could do something. And you failed at it. You failed. Like, at this rate, the Bubba Dingoes are going to kill themselves off before you can do anything worthwhile. Uh, we'll show off the animation, um, but that, that's pretty much it here. Rosella ha does have a three that hits everybody, but it's still not necessarily worth it for me. All right, well, we, we did what we set out to do. We, we, we got up to level seven. Somehow I'm still disappointed, though. Uh, Mickey, just go ahead and bop something or whatever. Just just do the one stamina. Thank you. That's great. Riddell, you are up. Let's show off Snake Fangs. White Cobra's power will recharge some elements. We haven't used any elements, so we can't really see how it works. Uh, but we'll get to see the animation here. There you go. It's a cool little animation, but it doesn't like show a good result. Let's go ahead and master moon a all these guys away, and we'll uh, disassemble the, sn the stone swallow because we no longer need it. But that is Snake Fangs, and with that done, uh, that is it for the uh, side quests that we can do. Yeah, there's there's nothing important coming out of that, uh, but. Uh, there is still some side work that I would like to do at this point. Uh, remember that I said that I can go and get the summons, uh, so I'm going to take care of that. Uh, we can also do some work with Sprig. I haven't decided if I want to do some work with Sprig at this point, but we could. Uh, but we will take care of those things next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Cross. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined as always by my takes on their friends squad of Lynx, Riddell, and Mickey. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>